I'm sorry about that. I just impaled Thanks, John yeah. in the gut with the actually, uh, Kevin actually, backpack. Actually, no. <laughs> and, and, and some place where I can't even say on video. <laughs> it's alright though. At least <laughs> I would apologize. I know she loves me, but I can't even believe what she just did to me. She didn't mean it. You walked into my backpack and it, the backpack was on fire. I've hit a couple people with this backpack. It probably wasn't the best design one to Kevin choose. control, <laughs> Gabrielle is in heaven. She's gonna get her a snack. <laughs> and this is actually good. How they have like little you? hummus cups. And those hummus cups are so good. They're really good. They have just healthy snacks here, right, John? Like healthy choices. Yes. Yeah. And then they have fresh fruit and rice chips, craisins. We love this place. We are going to Hollywood Studios now, which I have a love hate relationship with. We're going to the Hollywood Tower Tower, I mean. I'm sorry, I can't speak right. I love it, and I love the theming of it. You see that shirt? But it gives me anxiety, it makes me panic. What? The shirt the eight-year-old had on. What is it? That say? was the cutest thing I've ever seen. What is it? Today, I will do absolutely nothing. That is a good shirt. I like to judge me by the size. I think Gabrielle should Judge me it. by my size, do you? Yeah, we're, we're at the Hollywood Tower. Tower. No, I love the character, the cast members at this ride. But I always, I always get anxiety right before I go on. I'm not a high school. They had to close half of the building because someone threw up on Tower Chair. That's classic. Not someone, usually, is me. Someone hurts. Pulled out of Holly. We did the, the wait is very long. <laughs> So we're gonna go to lunch early. Well, let's go try to get in early. Let's go in and just see if they'll seat us early. Okay. Is that a message from It's a message from above. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to be waiting in that line because that will make my anxiety way too bad to go on that ride. And we're hungry. So we're just gonna come back to it and be flexible. This park is really crowded today. Look at the, the tour groups are here. And you know what? Oh my, there's a lot going on today. Yeah, this is great, I love the activity. I do too, I like when there's like a lot of things going on in the streets and the street performers are here. We're gonna head on over to the Primetime Cafe and have some lunch. What? So let's start in five, four, three, two, one. And the SS down the hatch. This is a nice place to come have a snack. And Gertie, Gertie used to sell ice cream, but I think she's too early. Gertie used to sell ice cream. She used to be an ice cream stand, but I think she's closed now. But. Remember we came here the one time where all the rabbits were out? If you sit along the garden here, all the rabbits will come up in like little fluffy bunnies, and they're very tame here. And there's the duck over there, not one of Disney in the ducks water. are here. He doesn't want to get in the water. No, they're sun tanning. It's a nice spot. And then right over there is where we're going for lunch. I'm ready to go see if we can get in our. Gabrielle and I are in one of the gift shops, and she just found a Star Wars duty and bark bag. <laughs> that is too cool. Look at it. There's Darth Vader. You see Rubio, r 2 That is so cool. And then Gabrielle found like an awesome bag. This is, this might be our next investment. <laughs> That's so cute. They're all on the bicycles. I'm excited for food to get my Yeah, Gabrielle is hungry. This is the prime time. I love this place because 
it's like walking back into your grandma's house. So it's all decorated from the 50s and 60s. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it's air conditioned. It's the bar. living room and you get to watch television. <laughs> look at this. I love how it has the wood paneling. And then look at the old television. <laughs> look at the old radio. Oh, it's Dick Van Dyke. I love it. And John's on, on the pleather sofa. <laughs> this kind of looks like it kind of looks like our house, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> our house is very old, so <laughs> we have the wood paneling and everything going on. Yeah, Gabrielle's sitting there chilling and relaxing. And then this is the bar. Now, if you come in and sit at the bar, you can order milkshakes, right? Mm -hmm. You can get milkshakes. They have a peanut butter and jelly milkshake. It's really good. Yeah, the milkshakes are the best. And they have malts. Do they have malts? I'm getting one of those. Yeah, root beer float. I like the root beer floats. Gabrielle likes the milkshake. And then I love how they have the paneling, like, just like in a 1950s or 1960s house. It's incredible. Oh, we're being called for dinner. We have to go or we're going to get in trouble here every year. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. I'm from North Andover. Oh, really? Yeah. Good people up here. Yes. <laughs> He's from Maine. He's from Maine. Okay. Yes. You're from home. Uh, uh, <laughs> got a great table for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We're going in the kitchen. Look. Oh, I love this. We've never sat here before. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You've been here before? We've been here before. Uh, did you behave? I, well, no. 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 Well, that was not. No, it's <laughs> Put your elbows on the table. Yeah, you got it. That's yeah. the first rule. Yeah. Yeah, she's the one who behaves. <laughs> yes. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. We're in, the, um, we're in our kitchen here. We're going to watch some television. And keep our elbows off the table, John. Okay. No. <laughs> So the menu is really, really nice. <laughs> they have lots of root beer floats, like we were talking about. Lemonade, and then our favorite is the shakes. Where are the milkshakes? Are they on the back? Oh, up front, up top. Peanut butter and jelly milkshake. And then they have seasonal ones. Strawberry is my personal favorite. And then my favorite thing here is the onion rings. I can basically eat that for a meal. And I'm so oh, excited. Get really have the, your fried cheese that you like too. Yeah. Are you behaving yourself? Always. Your elbows are on the table. You're gonna get us in trouble. You're gonna oh. get in trouble. You're misbehaving. Good, and we're good. Look at that. This is the rookie flow. Thank you. Oh, that's a treat. Thank you. Strawberry. Oh, oh melting. Thank, Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you for setting the table. You're so good. For appetizers, we got the onion rings and fried cheese with garlic. Here you go, honey. So our meals just arrived. There is my meatloaf. And I love how they serve it. It looks like just like the portions you get at home with your mom. John got the big heaping portion of fried chicken. And Gabrielle got chicken hot pie. Which looks amazing. Oh man, it's good. Alright. We're gonna dig in here. Yeah. 
Thank you. Oh, <laughs> man. That was he really good. He's a bad. He is. He's his human. Food. He's a little mess, but it's okay. Yeah. I'm like document how prepared I am for Hollywood Studios that I actually brought frozen antibacterial hand wipes that are quite convenient and don't leak all over the place. Like the gen One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday. Melvin. Yeah. How was lunch? Oh, lunch was really phenomenal. I think, I feel like Gabby and I feel like we yeah. ate a little much. We need like an air conditioned sit down attraction. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my hand on that. <laughs> That, that was a lot of good food. <laughs> and this is the other restaurant. This is Hollywood and Vine, huh? This is more buffet. And if you have kids who like um, Nick is that, Jr. Is that service or is that sit down? It's sit down. But it's uh, to meet all the Nick Jr. characters. I'm not Nick Jr. Disney Jr. Oh my God. Please ignore me. It's a... Uh, I had a momentary lapse of where I was. A momentary lapse of reason? Things. Yeah. What a great name for a song. Oh wait, somebody already used that. Wait, Nickelodeon. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd already used that. Nickelodeon and Disney, the same thing. No, Disney Junior characters are in Hollywood and Vine and if you have younger children, it's a good time. We're going into Toy Story. So of all the cues, that. Of all the cues, this is the best cue or line. You feel like you're in Woody's toy box. Shoots and ladders. My I feel like you're in Woody's toy box for like a hundred um, minutes. Yeah, this is a long wait. We did the grand opening. Do you guys remember that? 120 minutes. The grand opening. Gabrielle was little and wanted to go to bed, but we that? wanted to do the grand opening. <laughs> But this is one of my favorites. I love this ride. It's it's a lot of fun. It's really cute. And it's 3D. Get my glasses. Pick it up your glasses. Put your opera glasses on. That's actually from Philharmonic. There you go. I wait. I can't see you. You can't see. I just like that the ceiling is like a circus tent. You may have seen it. Be sure to watch the small fries. So look at this. This is what I like. It's just adorable, isn't it? I, I love it. Pants in the pants. I have this right. How many games did you have in here? Operation. I had Operation. Please keep up the toys ahead of you. Buzz Lightyear person. Actually, I like this ride. I like, um, I like Jesse. Gabrielle, did you cry when you saw the third one? Did I see the third one? I don't think I did. When, when he had to go to college, Andy went to college. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you being nice and let your child win for once? What? You let your kid win no, for once? Don't okay. let me win. I'm gonna She's you. gonna win. Her arms. Let her win. She's no, been working out in gifts. Her arms are strong. All I want is the alien part. <laughs> oh, I like. I didn't notice that little storybook. I think I actually had that book. I had Operation. That's definitely a staple. And then I like how it's all building blocks. That was fun. I made the aliens fly. That's the only part I care about is making the little green aliens go ooh and ah. <laughs> you throw the I know. I love it. I got the rocket this time, and if you ring the rocket, it's like a ring toss. They all go ooh ah. <laughs> it's great. I like that. Um. They don't spin you as violently in that ride anymore. I noticed that they slow you down a little in between, which yes, I'm yes grateful. They do, and I just have one thing oh. 
My arm my is arm, not my arm. So this is the great part about Disney. When we went to do Tower of Terror, it was broken. So I simply just went back now that it's up and running again and I asked the cast member if I could have like an amendment to my fast pass and he gave me uh, like a free fast pass to come back and ride it because it was broken at the time. So nine times out of ten if you're flexible and calm and patient, you go back the cast member is always going to be willing to help you out. So don't freak out if you go to ride a ride and it's broken because you'll still get to ride which is nice. What did you do? They went on the Tower of Terror and didn't scream. Did you hear that, John? They're arresting someone because they went on the Tower of Terror and didn't scream, he said. <laughs> Alright, this has got to be my favorite themed ride here. The line, and just wait till you see the line in the hotel. They love all the mist. <laughs> Feels good. The air conditioning. It's nice and cold. Oh, I love the cobwebs. Call me a gentleman. He called you a gentleman? Oh, I don't know about I that. guess he doesn't know me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you your rooms are not quite ready yet. Please feel free to look about our library while you still can. <laughs> This door with the key of imagination. Behind it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business at least. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. Are you ready for your bye? <laughs> I'll miss you most of all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not coming back then. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't looking very good for me. <laughs> Something tells me this is not, you know, not a good sign. <laughs> We're in the front row. Excuse me. What? What floor are we on? Um, you the were the passengers in a motion coming up. Door 
door's opening once again. This time, it's opening for me. Okay. <laughs> you are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Oh, here we go. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. Tower Hotel was a star, a beacon for the show business elite. Until five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. Now that door has opened once again. For you. Thank you. 